So there was this Reddit post that's been going around all over the Lotro community. <laughs> they said, have you been hacked? Uh, unfunny security breach. And basically what they said was they didn't hack into someone's account and that they ended up basically on someone else's account. They did not log into this account. They put in their information and they went to go under their account. They logged in through the launcher, like everything was set. But for some reason, they went in the home screen menu and they got an account that was not theirs. They've got like someone's random premium account of three characters and they're just like, what is up with this? So apparently this has been an issue since update 42 that just launched. So a lot of people obviously are like, this is really bad because as this person goes on to explain, like, you know, like you can delete characters. I mean, like it's right there. If you were to like select, you could possibly delete characters, but I don't know because they have a character selected, but it doesn't have the delete character um, on, which is interesting. But like, this is terrifying still because people could go under your characters possibly and like sell your stuff or whatever so like it's not it's not a joke like it's seriously a big issue someone obviously posted on the lotro forums and like expressed it all and ssg didn't comment on it um, for a while more or less i think what happened i think ssg did comment on it after some time uh and they were just like we know about the issue and we're working on it but let me let me find this apparently from loots though he said that this used to be an issue with code master servers yeah i guess the only thing that cord posted about on the forums was just that last week our back end perf uh improvements introduced a serialization bug that caused problems we experienced server crashes and some players reported that they were uh they were connected to the wrong account. On Friday night, we fixed the error and we have not seen a crash or player report since we fixed uh, those issues. If you were affected before the Friday fix, please contact, uh, contact customer support. If any players see further issues, please raise the uh, issue directly to the customer support or to us. Thank you. So that's what the Friday night hot fix was, was because apparently they were having the issue of other people's accounts like people were logging in to their own account and ending up on someone else's account entirely which would make sense because that hotfix was like last minute and we were like what the frick's going on that would make sense russo you said that the response wasn't really reassuring specifically concerning people had still reported it after the hotfix i have heard people report it after the hotfix but i haven't seen anything posted on the forums or reddit about it um let's go through the forums real quick maybe i missed something he wasn't on stream on friday for a reason others used the ssg brand account to announce the downtime for a reason cordovan was not available this weekend and uh, what he does with his personal time is none of our business probably take a, a nice long weekend off and enjoy himself without having to check his phone on work related stuff and this is a good thing ssg does not have 24 7 staff available and the staff they do takes days off from work from time to time they already put on a hot fix on friday night and they would not have done that unless it was absolutely necessary to fix immediately but please allow employees their time off he came back today and replied to all of our concerns i mean that's fair I was shocked that they did a Friday night fix because I was like, what's up? And it took about an hour. Imagine deleting an 150 character, right? Like, oh my gosh. I would be crying. Sissa said, apparently you couldn't access characters on the last page. Okay. So people... Were... Yeah. Okay. So... sure you could just preview characters, but if you tried to go into any of them, you'd get an error. Okay, okay, you'd get the error logging in. So you could pretty much just see them on the menu. All right, well, that's, only, uh, that's at least reassuring. Yeah, no hate on the dev, just that the response we got now felt more like, please be calm, but really stuff is still going on. The devs are working hard and deserve their time off. No, nah, that's fair. A little Lotro ticked me off with this comment. What did his comment said? He said, you waited all this time to come clean about this. Be more proactive, please, to record. <laughs> Bro, he was busy. <laughs> it was the weekend. He's supposed to have his days off of the weekend. My God. I feel bad for Cord in some regard, though, because he's like the community manager. So in a lot of ways, he's like the public face of SSG for the Lotro side, you know, in a lot of different ways. But it's like, I know that there were like... There were people, I'm pretty sure Orion went on. It might have been Orion, but somebody did went on earlier um, in some regard in the Lotro 
like devs they did go on earlier at some point and they mentioned that they knew about the issue and they were working on it but it's like core didn't specifically said it so they're like upset about it where you said cord takes a day off when dude i'll never forget cord i messaged cord about something one day i can't remember what it was about I think it was for an event that we were helping. I want to say it was like for the walk, the, the walk to Rivendell for Sally. I messaged him on like a weekend about getting all of the stuff sorted for it or whatever. And he literally emailed me back and he was like, oh, uh, just want to let you know, like, I see this email and I will get you what you need um, on Monday. Just right now I'm on vacation um so like i'll get back to you and i was just like bro you didn't even have to respond and tell me that if you're on vacation like let alone check your email when you're on vacation but then also respond to me like bro you could have left me on red till monday like it's okay court never cancels stream unless something major happens true and i figured because nobody else had taken over for the friday stream that was um obviously canceled last friday but because no one else took over for it i figured that something was going on yeah it could have been because of that hot fix that was needed cord's one of the better community man managers i've encountered in the years i've been playing mmos dude honestly yeah dude cord's great i absolutely think cord is amazing at what he does and he's I can only imagine how much work he has. Like, <laughs> there's so much that he, there's so many meetings he probably has to go to just to stay informed about everything. But then also he's got to come up with some stuff on the dot when it comes to communicating stuff. And even though I feel like SSG just in general needs like better communication in a lot of aspects, I do appreciate how much Cord is probably on it because he has to like last second, you know, obviously express what's going on they must have hit a similar bug in the code they hit on an update they had several years ago on the eu servers we had similar issues way back then yeah i remember you mentioning that loots uh, way back then was when the eu servers were in the eu run by codemasters yeah yeah i don't remember hearing about that issue but that's like wild <laughs> It's just a whole very crazy situation, but I'm glad they fixed it. But that is something that people are generally concerned about. But if you guys do have issues like that going forward where you're putting in your credentials and you're ending up on someone else's like menu account and their character selection screen, make sure you report it to SSG like immediately because that's not a good thing.